Yeah, the chat was so bad. Uh, I will never, ever do a live stream on his channel, Shimon's channel, or Soko's channel. I just never would do that. No, it's, it's, look, 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 like I say, me and John me and John went to pick a fight. It's just as simple as that. We went to pick a fight. Because these people, like I said, won't come to the arena. And so now we've picked the fight. And um, we, we've, we're carrying them back. You know, like the, um, you know, back in Africa when they used to capture the, the um, hunters and that, or the missionaries or whatever they were, you know, you know, back in the day in the movies and that, where they got them tied to a pole and they're carrying them back to camp. So we've 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 got our, we went to get our prey and we found our prey, and we've um, we, we've we've snared them. Do you get me? You could say something about him because of what he says about the Prophet Sallam. He's a I've said it clearly. He's a despicable individual. He really is a despicable human being, undoubtedly. Not because of what he looks like, because of what he says. That's different. Do you understand? Or are you saying Allah got it wrong when he made his head shaped like a coconut? <laughs> what does Sam beating his wife and lost daughter his daughter's custody? Yeah, I I'll give you an example. What will happen? I I'll give you a prime example. You say to Sam, you say to Sam that. Oh, is it true you beat your wife? What do you think his response will be? I'll tell you what his response will be. Unequivocally, this will be his response. You say to Sam, oh, look at Sam, the wife beater. What will he say? Well, yeah, well, you're a Muslim. You don't mind that, do you? Your Quran says you can beat your wife and Muhammad beat Aisha and the, the, the Muslim women were complaining to Aisha that there were bruises that were green and that's what he does. You say that, that's what he'll say. 100%. But if you're not clever enough, you'll say something stupid like that. As soon as you say that, he will bring up wife beating in the Quran. He will bring up when when the, the time where the Prophet ﷺ struck Aisha and Anha, when he went that, yeah? And, and he'll bring up when the woman came with the green bruises and complained to Aisha that her husband beats her. He, he, he would go to those things. He would go to those things immediately. That's exactly what he would do. And it would completely deflect away from his wife beating to um, responding to misconceptions, responding to the beating in the Quran, responding to the time of Aisha, responding to the thing about the green. Oh, this is weak hadith. Or Do you get me? And it's gone. Leave it. We want to deal with Christians, right? We're not interested in what Christians think about Islam. We're not interested in what they think about the Quran. We're not interested in what they think about the Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My interest in Christians is to deal with Christianity and to show them that they've got no legs to stand on. And as soon as you say something like that, you deflect to Islam. And this is what they want. One thing about Sam, he speaks very well. His oratory skills are spectacular. Yeah, his, his speech flows. What boom, 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 boom. It, it really, really does. I've said this before. Americans have a way of speaking that uh, gives them an advantage over English speakers. I truly believe that, that just the way, the, just the way they speak, they have this oratory skill or automatically. Most Americans, and so, and when you apply that with rhetoric and uh, a bit of knowledge, then it's a big thing, man. Brings up beating, and what you do then in that situation is you would deal with that misconception if, if that's the topic and then then you could say but sam did you beat your wife mate so you're not even a muslim so you're not even a muslim and yet you beat your wife do you understand the difference so if he brings up the topic of wife beating as a miscon uh, and you re respond to the misconception then i don't see an issue with bringing up his hypocrisy hypocrisy that i don't mind that that that's how it works that's that's what you call timing yeah, that's what you call timing. So you have this information about him. Now, if he brings up, so if he brings up this wife beating, for example, if you were to respond straight away, but then you beat your wife, the timing's wrong because it looks like you're deflecting away from his question. So you address his question, 
respond to his claims. And once you're finished, now you can bring that. Now, this is where timing kicks in. Now you say, but hey, Sam, didn't you beat your wife, mate? Do you understand the difference? You see how that timing works. If you'd have brought him beating his wife before you'd have responded to the misconception, it would look like deflection and that would get covered up. But at the end, then you can hit him with it. Because then it's then he's we've we've responded to his question, we've dealt with it, and now we're smacking him with it, and he's stood there now naked. He's got nothing, nowhere to hide. He might try to justify why he beat her, I don't know. But anyway. Do that. Um I don't have a soft spot for him at all. I I have a respect of his knowledge. I have a respect for his argumentation. Yeah. I have a respect for him defending his faith. Yeah. You know, the thing about Sam, you see, he switched from being a Protestant to a Catholic. Yeah. So he's a cat. He, he, he's lost his associations with David Wood and Anthony Rogers and those guys because he became a Catholic. So this guy, he does change. He does change position. Do you understand? So I, I have a respect for that. He, I, I respect him as an adversary. I don't. I wouldn't take it lightly. I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think this guy is going to be easy. I think it's going to be a really tough test. Um, but still, we got the hack. <laughs> so it's not a problem. Yeah, it's just cutting through the rhetoric. That's what I'm saying. So it's not about damage control. It's about I have respect for my adversary. I don't have a soft spot for him. I don't like him as a person. Um, but I respect um, his presentation and um, and his articulation and his uh, the way he can recall certain things. And I'll say his manipulation as well. Manipulation of a text. I don't think God Logic's a Catholic though, is he? But they're weird anyway because David Wood's a Christian and AP is a uh atheist and they, they go hand in hand to jerusalem i mean I, I don't get it um but we know that allah says that they'll unite with each other so but yeah so sam is a uh, catholic um you, you can and, and i'll be honest with you we're, we're gonna see <laughs> we, we might even put a, a wedge in between that we might put a wedge between this thing we, we might even split the chat um so we'll see I'll, I'll see how i can uh, work that in